common sense conservatives want to axe the tax. This prime minister wants to hike the tax. First of all, he wants to quadruple it between now and 2030. And on April 1st, he plans to hike it by 23 percent with the support of the NDP. The tax hike will be bigger than any increases in the rebate, and therefore people will have be bigger, the average families in all the provinces will be bigger net losers under this tax than they were before. With Canadians unable to eat, heat, and house themselves, will the Prime Minister cancel his plan to hike the tax on April 1st? Eight out of ten Canadians get more, households get more money uh, than they pay in carbon pricing in the provinces in which they apply. In Alberta, $1,800 oh. a year to the fa a family of four, $1,200 a year in Manitoba, even in Ontario, uh, $1,120 uh, to a family of four in Ontario. That's money in their pockets that he wants to take. I'm glad he mentioned his phony rebates because $1,800 in Alberta is the rebate. That's what he said. You heard him. Here's the gross cost, $2,943. Oh. So he's going to take That's away $2,943, but give back $1,800, oh. and then ask you to be thankful for it, Mr. <laughs> Speaker. Isn't that just proof that the carbon tax is just like him, not worth the cost? Yeah. Eight out of ten families are better off with a Canada carbon rebate than they pay in the price of pollution. The Parliamentary Budget Officer report is in my hands. Page three of a distributional analysis of the federal fuel charge under the 2030 Emissions Reduction Plan. Google it. Look it up. It's on the Parliamentary Budget Officer's website. You don't have to believe me, and you certainly don't want to believe him. <laughs> Go look for yourself. The average Ontario family will pay $1,674 in carbon taxes next year. That's $630 more than they get back in rebates. So why doesn't the Prime Minister Google it, look up the report, check the facts, and ask the tax. On the face of it, eight out of ten families get more back through the price on pollution. He doesn't think you can build a strong economy and fight climate change at the same time. Mr. Speaker, he's doing neither yeah, at the same right. time. Mr. Speaker, the parliamentary budget, he, first of all, I, I should catch that word he said, on the face of it. <laughs> Carbon tax is terrific. Well, the parliamentary budget officer actually did the calculation of the full fiscal and economic cost for the average family. And he found, and he found, and he found that every family in the middle class is worse off under the carbon tax. For example, in Ontario, the net cost for the average family above and beyond rebates is $627 this year. How are they going to pay for that? We are fighting climate change. We are innovating and creating jobs of tomorrow. And we're putting more money in the pockets of Canadians. Checks that that leader of the opposition would take away. Mr. Speaker, uh, here's a very simple way to measure it up. Right here from the Parliamentary Budget Officer's report. The total gross cost of the carbon tax in Ontario is $1,674 for this coming year. $1,674. $1,674. $1,674. How much is the rebate? We have a plan to fight climate change and put money in people's pockets. He has no plan. Whoa. He, don't need to, he doesn't need to get angry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Asking some numbers here. Just some numbers. Right? So he was very anxious to talk about these wonderful rebates up until a moment ago. And now he doesn't want to say a thing about it. He even gave him a fancy new name. I'm going to say it again. In Ontario, the gross cost of the carbon tax is $1,674 for the average family. $1,674. How much is the rebate?